Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I just want to say thank you so much for everybody who subscribed and liked my video, gave me comments, you know, viewed it 400 times. My heart is so happy. I really never thought I would get that much of a feedback um, for my first video. I thought, you know, what if I only get like 20 views? That's okay. It's still 20 views. So I'm so happy that that's the turnout that happened. And so today what I'm going to do is just do this purple eyeshadow look, which you can see I've already filmed right before and the intro is last, which doesn't make any sense. And I did it with the James Charles palette. And yeah, so if y'all want to see how I got this look, just keep watching. Okay, so first I'm going to start off with the Ultra Repair Cream made by First Aid Beauty. And this is what it looks like, if you can see that. Um, yeah, I usually put on a moisturizer before I do my foundation just so like my face isn't as dry and it's just a lot smoother. Um, you know, if you put on some moisturizer before and I bring it down on my neck and this just gives the foundation a good place to sit on your face. So I put some of that on, just let it dry and then I'm going to spray the Morphe setting spray, sorry about that, on me to really just act as a primer. And then you're going to want to fan that so it's dry. Okay. So, and then I am going to use the Kat Von D Lock It In Foundation in the shade Medium 52 Neutral. So I'm going to just pump that on my finger and just disperse it. And I'm probably going to get a little bit more... Um, this foundation is good. It's really thick, but I do have a lot of blemishes, so it works out for me. And it's definitely so full coverage. So if you like a full coverage foundation, then this would really be for you. And I'm using my Morphe M6 foundation brush. And I really love this brush. It really buffs out your foundation for you. Really good. You don't really just have to sit there and blend it a lot on your own. So this morning I woke up kind of early because I was like, okay, I'm going to go to CeCe's Coffee this morning, which I never do. I usually just get like McDonald's breakfast or eat like a muffin at home or, you know, whatever. But I was like, okay, I talked about the King Cake Mocha Sippies in that Get to Know Me tag video so much that I was like, I have to get one before work. Like I'm just craving one. So... I went and I've actually never been inside of ours that we have here until this morning because the line was so long and it didn't look like anyone was inside so I was like, okay, I'm just going to go in. This is probably going to be so much quicker. Well, so I order the King Cake um, Mocha Sippy and I ordered a bacon egg and cheese croissant which I've never had until this morning. And it was so good but so when I'm checking out it's only $5 and I'm like, okay, I'm at CeCe's Coffee House, so this should definitely be like $10, so they're like making it, it's taking forever. The lady is just like cutting the cheese and laying it on the sandwich, like so carefully, so soft, and I'm like, do do do, got to be at work at 8 o'clock, like, you know, so it was, it was not a good decision to go inside, so I will keep going through the drive-thru, but so anyway. And I always bring my foundation down on my neck because this foundation is a little dark for me right now. But if you just blend it into your neck, no one will know. It's fine. Just, you know, go with it sometimes. Well, so anyway, I'm like, I think I'll only charge me for either the drink or just the sandwich. And they were like, oh, thank you so much for being honest with us. Like, yeah, we only charged you for the sandwich. I'm like, okay. So I pay for the drink, but that's me. Like... I have to tell them you forgot to do this because if I let that four dollars go and I would have taken the drink or the croissant and known that it was free I would have wrecked my car and had to pay like a thousand dollar deductible you know my karma has a big turnaround so now I'm gonna go in with my Tarte Shape Tape concealer and it is in the shade 16 in fair light neutral and I typically get this like 
three or four shades lighter than like what my foundation is so like my eyes look brighter and I look more awake and not as tired and I put just a few little marks on my forehead I put one down my nose and I put one right here on my cupid's bow I look like so crazy and so then I take my regular beauty blender and I'm just gonna pat it in and I I do not know if I could live without concealer because it makes me look so much better like without concealer I look like a zombie most of the time because I don't really sleep a whole lot mainly because of Hensley but even that I just I really don't find a lot of time to sleep but so I'm just gonna pat it in and I did get it wet before I started this is not sponsored go get a mocha sippy okay so let me okay now I'm going to get my setting powder somewhere in this mess okay and I do have the setting powder it's the AOA perfect setting powder this is like one dollar on AOA.com which I'll link it below everything on their website is one dollar so and I think the shipping is like what five dollars so you can get like ten products for fifteen dollars like plus shipping I mean with shipping so yeah it's a really I mean you know some stuff you can kind of tell like okay this is like really cheap but some stuff you're like mm, like this this works so good so I'm just going to set my under eye and I'm gonna let the setting powder just sit there and bake probably why I continue just to do my whole face and then I'm gonna dust it off at the end of course so I don't look crazy but um let's see oh my gosh that looks so crazy yeah so I'm just gonna set this a little, a little bit more and you're gonna dust it off and you really you don't have to be this excessive because this does look a little excessive you can just do it a little bit lighter than this I really feel like it looks so crazy so now I'm gonna do my eyebrows and I have the brow gel in the shade brown hair zero two I hope this is like auto focusing on the oh uh, let's see and I just use my little handheld mirror because I can't really see in my camera all the way but okay. and this sometimes like excess comes off but if it gets on your skin it really just rubs it off it doesn't leave a mark or anything so it's fine okay I wanted to get you just a little closer to my face okay so I'm gonna go in with a transition color which is like this little light brown color and I do have the name of it I am going to dip into the color B B E E that's so cute okay so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go in right here on my crease and I'm just gonna blend this out for a good minute just blend 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 that's such a pretty color this is just a little old regular Sephora crease eyeshadow brush it's not it doesn't have a name or anything um, and then I'm going to go in with the Morphe M441 brush and I have not used it yet so I'm super excited to use it first on camera Okay, so I'm going to dip into the color, we're going to go for single, which I am not. <laughs> okay, we're going to dip in here, and this, like, I'm going to dust it off a little bit, because this is like a lot of pigment grabbing on here, and you don't want to look crazy. And so what I'm going to do is go in to my inner crease, right here, I'm just going to lightly blend that in. Cause I don't want to look too crazy yet. You just want a little hint of purple. So I'm going to go back into single again. And I'm not going to dust it off. Okay. So we're going to go back. Ooh, that is so pretty. I literally knew I would love this palette. I'm pretty much like in love with James Charles, which is the guy that created this palette. He created it with Morphe and 
Dang, that is so pretty. I'm gonna go back into sequence. Okay, now I'm gonna just blend this, and I'm just trying to keep it right in this little crease right here. Okay, that is like such a pretty purple. Like that is so pretty. And I'm gonna do this eye first and then do the other eye off camera because we will be here for too long if I do all of that on here. So, that is my plan. I'm gonna go in with my Morphe 200 brush. Um, yeah, I haven't used this one yet. It's super, my nails are so not cute right now. Okay, and I'm gonna dip into Escape, which I wish I could do on a daily basis. Okay, so. I'm gonna dip it in here, dip, 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 dip. And like, look, can you see the purple? Okay, and so I'm gonna go over it, where I already went over, and this time I'm gonna kinda come up with it a little bit, this darker one, and kinda keep it more on the outer part of my eye. Um, I am going in right here, but I'm mainly trying to put most of the pigment down over here. And there is really no fallout like it's kind of coming right here, but I can just fix that with concealer. So I mean, it is, it is, this is literally so pretty. I am gonna shape tape my lid just so like I can have like a clean base just to really pack on the shimmer whenever I get done with this. Y'all, that is literally so purple. I think I love it. Okay, so now I am gonna get the shape tape. So what I do is, um, I know a lot of people do it differently, so you don't have to like listen to me, but so I just kind of put it on the end of like a little, a brush like this, and I'm just gonna like paint it on my lid. Okay, so I'm not, I'm not gonna go all the way on my lid with it because I feel like the shimmer should kind of blend into the end of it. I don't wanna just, you'll see what I'm talking about, but I'm just, that's all I'm gonna put. And then I'm going to go in with the, the Morphe 218 brush. And this is kind of like a flatter brush, so I'm gonna use it for the shimmer and I'm about to spray it with the Morphing Setting Spray, which I don't know if I said this or not, but this stuff is literally amazing. And I think it's only $15. Okay. I'm gonna dip it into the color Artistry gonna dip. I'm trying to grab all of it. Okay. Let's see. Okay, so this isn't really picking it up as much as I thought it would, so I am just gonna dip my finger in it, which sometimes, let's see if this makes it come off better. So much better. Yeah, okay. So definitely dip your finger in it. This is so much better than the brush. Oh, like, yeah, it's like a dramatic difference. And I mean, if you do not want the full on shimmer, then you can just use a brush and you can just dip it because I mean, you can still see it, you know, it showed up, it's like very pigmented, but when you put it on with your finger, it's like, whoa. Whoa. Like, okay, so this is me swatching it off my finger. Okay, and then I'm gonna dip it back in with the brush. You, yeah. So definitely use your finger. But sometimes that isn't always true. Um, you know, with every palette. Okay, so now that I've packed on the shimmer, let me kind of adjust this. Okay, so now that I've packed on the shimmer, I'm pretty much done. So I am just gonna like dust off the setting powder on this side. I'm gonna dust this off. I am gonna fix this little spot right here. Okay, so I 
am just gonna go in and I'm gonna highlight underneath my brow bone and probably I might do like some gold in the inner corner or maybe like there's not really a silver color so maybe I will maybe I won't do the gold we'll see we'll see we'll see what I come up with okay so I am gonna use the Morphe 562 brush um, I don't know if you can see that. I don't even know if I've been showing y'all the name and the number. I'm gonna get better at this, I swear. This is my first time to do makeup on camera, and it's so hard because I'm just like trying to get used to it, and it's kind of hard, but we're gonna be okay. Okay, so what you're gonna do is you're just gonna dip it, and I am dipping it in the color the Ring Light, which I need a ring light. I've been looking for like suggestions all day pretty much on YouTube from little, you know, like how to get your channel started. And I haven't really, I haven't really found any that like are less than a hundred dollars. So I guess I might just have to bite it and just buy one. Um, so yeah, that's currently my issue right now. And then I am just going to go in with the same color ring light on the same brush. And I am just going to do my inner corner because I don't really want to mess with the gold right now. Right, right here. Bring it up a little bit. Okay. Now I'm going to go ahead and do a little bit of contour. So I just make a little fish face. And I like to bring it down from the top of my ear down. And I'm just going to blend it out. Okay. Okay, then I'm gonna go on the other side. It is much better to start up at the top of your ear because when you're doing your bronzer and you start up, it's better to come down with it than to start down low and then bring it all in to you know your chin and stuff. So I always just start up high so in case I do mess anything up, I can just go ahead and like you know blend it out and fix it. And I do just do the sides of my forehead right here just to kind of create a little bit of some dimension and then i do just go all down my neck okay and i'm not going to contour my nose today but sometimes i do do that if i'm going you know for like some dramatic look this is uh, the Morphe uh, Beauty Blender. You know, it's a, it's a lot bigger, actually, whenever it's wet. And I'm just going to set that underneath where I put the bronzer so I can make it look a little bit more defined. And I do get the Morphe one wet, too. So, yeah, I'm going to brush that off in a minute. And I do get it in my hair sometimes, but that's okay. We'll figure that out. And for my lip color, I'm going to go ahead and get that over with. It is the Adesi New York High Definition Liquid Lipstick. I got this in a BoxyCharm too and I am so obsessed with it. It is my favorite liquid lipstick. You're about to see why. Okay, so it's so like nude, dark, it feels like a lip gloss, which like I love lip gloss, but it always comes off so easy. But then now I'm gonna dust all this off my face. And see, it just gives you more of, like a, just more of a defined look that that is done down. I'm really just gonna sit here and just kinda make sure all of it's off. And this is just like a little $1 e.l.f. e.l.f. face brush, tool face brush, yeah. It's so fluffy and it's so soft and it does not shed at all. So I think I got it from Target or somewhere like that, but I love it so much. Um, okay, so now I'm going to go ahead and do my eyeliner off camera because I have to open my mouth and it's so dramatic and it's going to take so long. So I will be right back. Okay, so we're almost done. Um, I went ahead and put my eyeliner on and mascara just because it takes me forever. Really. I promise one day that I will, like, probably do, like, a... I'll have to have my foundation and everything on before because it should... It'll just... It'll really be so long if I do it on camera. 
Um, I need to put on some highlighter. And I really want to use this. I got this last year for Christmas, and I think I've literally dipped into it one time, which is so sad. But it is the My Little Pony collection with ColourPop. I, look, let me see if I have the eyeshadow palette right here. I do. This was the cutest collection I have ever seen. Look how cute. So I am going to apply the Super Shock Shadow. And it is in the shade Posy. Yeah, that's all it says. Okay. I'm just going to get so much of this. This is a brush. It's called Wicon Cosmetics F112. When my best friend went to Italy last summer, and she got me like all this Italian makeup, fancy, and it came with this brush. And I use it a lot for highlighter. So. Oh, yeah. And I bring my highlighter up right here and just kind of like, you know, I don't know if everyone does that. I do it. You know. What up? And I do put it at the end of my nose. Right there. And I do do it a little bit above my lip. And I just want to put on some more, honestly. This is so pretty. Maybe I'll just put it down the bridge. Yes. Okay guys, so that is the complete look for today. I hope you guys loved watching. I promise I'm gonna get better at doing my makeup on camera. It's just a little, it's new, you know, it's kind of hard, but I'm gonna make it work. But yeah, so I hope that y'all enjoyed this video. Bye guys.